So walking through this problem, you're finding n, um, which is your sample size that you need when, of, um, for a population proportion to have um, a margin of interval, of margin of whatever, a margin of error of 0.1% if it's a 90% confidence interval. So we're solving for n, and we know that z star is 1.645 for a 90% confidence interval. And the M they give you is 0.1%, which is 0 0.001. Okay, we'll take that and we'll multiply that by P star, which they give you, which is an estimate. It's not a P hat because you haven't actually taken a group from the population. It's just what you believe. It's an estimate. Okay, and the P star we're given is 0.4, and then 1 minus that P star is 0.6. So I'm going to pause this a minute and put it in my calculator. So the answer you should get on that one when you do all the calculations is 395, which looks like what you got. Um, on the next one, um, you Oh, I see what you did. So you used the same formula on the next one, but you kept it in decimal form. On the first one, it came out exact at 395. But you can't have a part of a person. So on the next one, on number 30, let me get a blank page here, for an answer was 6763.85. Well, remember, you're asking individuals, so you need to always round up. So the answer on this would be 6364. If you round down, you're going to have a slightly larger margin of error. If you go up, you'll have a slightly smaller margin of error, but that's within the 0.1%. So it was on the second one that you just made that rounding mistake. Otherwise, you got it.